Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another great feature that 5.1 came with, which is the improved translucency reflection. Now, prior to this update, I would not even mess with any translucent objects. If you've noticed in my shorts or anything like that, I don't include anything transparent or translucent at all because it just didn't look good. Unless, of course, I use hardware ray tracing. But what I'm going to show you right now is how much it's improved since release of Unreal Engine 5. So what I have here is a simple cyberpunk scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sphere in the middle of this and we're going to apply a glass material to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a object here and we'll bring it to the middle of the room right now. And I'll go ahead and scale this up to like 1.5 or so. And I'll bring it up. Now this is one of my VTubers uh, apartments. Go ahead and put it right here in the middle of the scene. And I'm just going to apply a basic glass material that comes with the engine. Let's go ahead right here, story content materials. And as you can see, it looks like crap, right? So I'm going to go to my post process volume and I'll just kind of show you this real quick. I'll scroll down. Now, this is not a scientific test at all. This is more like a visual test. I'm going to show you what it looked like before. And I'm going to show you what it looks like after the newest update of 5.1. All right. So here we are. Global illumination set to lumen. Everything's just by default, really. And then for the reflection method, we have it set to none right now. But if you go to screen space, you're going to see that nothing's changed. Because really, this is it. And one of the biggest problems i had with the matrix demo was the lack of translucency reflections but hopefully whenever they release that for, for 5.1 we're going to go ahead and take a look at it again so as you can see right there i set up the screen space and again i'll go ahead and set it to none and you're going to see that in the trash can right here that's what it's doing it's really not doing too much even though i have the screen space turned up all the way all right so what i'm going to do now is switch this to lumen <laughs> and again you're going to see nothing is happening at all right so it's just it's just crazy to me so even if i change this to surface cache not, not much has changed and if i look at this right here i go to lighting and again i'm going to go to screen space you, you see the difference from screen space to lumen but there's really not much difference to be honest i mean you look at this glass right here it still doesn't look good and if we look at this glass window that i have here still doesn't look good it looks just like it's see-through so now we're going to talk about what they added in unreal 5.1 and that is the high quality translucency reflection here so what i'm going to do is set this to on and i'm going to go ahead and flip the switch to on as well and as you can see right off the bat, we actually see some kind of reflections in this translucency material. And it looks a lot better, right? So I'm going to go to the window again. See right there? You actually see the reflection of the jukebox inside the apartment. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch it off. And again, there's nothing there. With high quality translucency reflection, we are actually seeing that this is a glass window. All right? Right there. See that? On and off. That's huge. That is such a huge, huge change. And now what I'm going to talk about is probably one of the biggest debated thing ever since it came out is hardware ray tracing. So as you all know, with the most recent release of Unreal Engine, Lumen now supports hardware ray tracing. So the debate is, do we really need an NVIDIA card or ray tracing period as far as when playing video games or doing Unreal Engine cinematics or animation and such and such? Personally, to me, when ray tracing was first introduced, I thought it was a gimmick. I was like, it's just a word that they're adding to all their graphics card so that, you know, they can sell more. However, when I started creating stuff in Unreal Engine, I started to see what hardware ray tracing is all about. And to me, and what I'm about to show you is exactly what I'm talking about. So what I'll do now, again, if you have an RTX card, I think it's two series and up and an AMD 6000 and up, you should have ray tracing, hardware ray tracing with Lumen. You should be able to do this, okay? So if I go to edit now and I go to project settings and I'm gonna go ahead and type in hardware here and I'll put this to the side. And I'm just going to position this so that you can kind of see it a little bit better. And if I now turn on hardware ray tracing for Lumen, you're going to see that 
we just got a lot more detail in there. And if I go back to that window, you're going to see that that jukebox, I can actually see that jukebox, see that jukebox right here. So if I turn it off and I turn it back on, you can definitely see. I mean, it, I can actually see the exit sign where the hardware ray tracing turned on. So again, to me, do I really need ray tracing? Do I really need a card that has ray tracing enabled? The answer for me is yes. Because to be honest, if we compare this to before of having ray tracing off and then switching this to screen space, majority of the game that we're used to are using screen space and this is what it looks like. So again, the whole ray tracing debate, do you really need ray tracing in a video game? To me, absolutely yes, if you want it to look really good. Do you need ray tracing for a game to be fun? Probably not. Uh, but for cinematics, again, if you want to use Lumen, ray tracing hardware is a must. So again, I'll go ahead and turn it to Lumen, and then we're going to turn on hardware ray tracing once again, so you can really see the difference there. All right. And if I look at this glass now from having this screen space before of just blobbiness to Lumen, we can actually see reflection. Well, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. I just really wanted to showcase this. I've been meaning to make this video because it is such a big improvement in the newest version of 5.1. However, just a caveat, if you're using 5.1 Preview 2, I believe this button is broken. If you try this on your own, sometimes whenever you turn this on, it's already, it already has high quality translucency reflections turned on. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below, but I feel like this switch right here is not working with the newest preview too. Again, let me know in the comments below if it works for you. But what I'm, but I'm actually using right now, this is a main branch from the GitHub page. So this is not the official release that I just downloaded because honestly, I could not get it to work. This button was not doing anything, but as you can see right here, it is working just fine. And hopefully in the final release of 5.1, they will fix this. Well, that's it. If you all have any questions, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching. Peace out.